Hello, in this video I'm going to be going over how to create a jump scare. Okay, so I've downloaded this um, zombie image and a zombie screen and I'm just going to be using this to create my jump scare. So first of all, I'm going to create my user interface. I'm just going to call this jump scare. This is going to be the Im image of our zombie which is going to jump out at the player. So we've just opened that, and then in the palette, we're going to look for an image and just drag that on. Just make sure it's selected. And in the image, uh, just select the zombie image. And this can be any image that you have. If you wanted to use your own custom one. And then I'm just going to place that out correctly. And uh, in your anchor, I'm just going to make it sure the anchor's got a whole page. So just compile and save that, and then we can close it. So now I'm going to go to Blueprint and create our, an actor and I'm going to create this jump scare box. So what's going to happen is when we overlap this box, it's going to cause our jump scare event. So we just need to create it. So add component, box collision. And you're just going to make sure this is a nice size so that we can make sure that our player overlaps with it. I'm just going to drag that up. And you want to make sure it overlaps all dynamic. And then click on component begin overlap. We're going to cast to our first person character, as that's the um, blueprint thing that I'm in right now. And once we're here, I'm going to click play sound. So play sound. Find location. And I'm just going to select this zombie sound, which I just downloaded off the internet. Make sound. And once we've got this, we're going to, um, I'm going to create our widget. So just create widget. And we're just going to select the jump scare widget that we just made. And then we're going to add it to our viewport so that our player can actually see it. So you want to just compile that and close it. And we're going to go back into our, our jump scare UI. And event construct, so this is when it enters our viewport, we're going to put a delay of one second. So we'll just change that to one. And we're going to drag off. And then we're going to remove from parent. So this just will remove it after we've spawned our jump scare. And now we just drag that on. And uh, yeah. if we uh, hit play and we walk forward, it will do our jump scare. And uh, that is all. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And like and subscribe if you found this content helpful. Bye.